Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Light Slacker What's the Tea collection. This is a quartet of four sheer, milky, curly, squishy kind of polishes. So these are available right now. So I will link the Light Slacker website down below where you guys can check these out. I also have a coupon slash affiliate code with Light Slacker. I will also have comparisons at the end after the swatches. So four polishes all together and I'll get into it. There are also these 3D puffy marshmallow nail art stickers that are coming out with the collection. So I'm going to be swatching these over base coat. This is the Light Slacker So Clingy. I did all of these swatches without base coat and I was kind of struggling with them a little bit. Um, I found them to be kind of patchy and kind of running all over the place for me and they weren't turning out very good. And so I decided to go back and redo them over base coat and it really made a world of difference. So I thought I would just do the swatches over base coat to give, try to give them a fair shot because everyone should be using base coat anyway. It's just not often that I find a polish that performs so differently with base coat versus without. And you definitely don't have to use this base coat. I just kept it within the same brand for continuity's sake. So the first polish is called Strawberry Boba, and this is described as a baby pink with a curly finish. So this and all the polishes in this collection are much more sheer than I was expecting when they were described as curly. I guess I just assumed they would be a little bit more opaque than they are. They are very sheer, but they still have that milkiness that makes them curly. Formula feels really good on this, fairly even once it's over that base coat. It does start to build up well on the second coat. It's still a little tiny bit uneven in spots, but not terrible. The color did build really nicely for me in three coats and it covered evenly for the most part. You obviously can still see the nail line here, because it has that slight, subtle, milky sheerness. And I also did really float that last coat to make sure that it was even. So that is three coats of Strawberry Boba. The next polish is called Matcha Tea, and this is described as a sea foam green with a curly finish. Again, pretty sheer. It's like surprisingly sheer. I was expecting this to have a little bit more color payoff than it had. Formula feels good. Again, was a little bit patchy on that first coat, but so much better over base coat. The color builds well on the second coat. It is still a little bit uneven, but not terrible. And I really floated my brush here on the second coat to even it out the best that I could. The color built up nicely here in three coats. It is still a bit uneven though. It's definitely not perfect. And it has that subtle, sheer, squishy, milk tea, milk milkiness to it. So that is three coats of matcha tea. The next polish is called Butterfly Milk, and this is described as a light powder blue with a curly finish. So this is still pretty sheer on the first coat, but there is a bit more, I guess, like milkiness and color payoff to the first coat of this one than the previous polishes. It is also a little bit more even. The color builds well on the second coat. It's still not perfectly even, but it is considerably better than matcha tea especially. Continues to build up on the third coat. And again, I really floated that brush to try to get it as even as possible. And it actually did build up and even out pretty nicely for me in three coats. Again, subtly sheer and squishy and a little bit more opaque than the previous ones. This kind of final look is what I was expecting everything in the collection to have. So that is three coats of Butterfly Milk. And the last polish is called Lavender Latte, and this is described as a lavender polish with a curly finish. So just like Butterfly Milk, this one is a little bit more opaque out of the gate, and it's just barely more opaque, but it really does make all the difference with how this builds up. It goes on a bit more evenly as well. Really good color payoff and very even here on the second coat. I'm not even sure if I really needed the base coat trick, if you call just like wearing base coat like you should a trick on these last two polishes, because these are really outperforming matcha tea especially, which is really disappointing because that was my favorite color out of the bunch. But it builds up really nicely and really perfectly here in the third coat. It's much more opaque. The nail line is considerably more subtle and has that nice squishy milkiness to it. So that is three coats of Lavender Latte. Okay, so for comparisons, this is not a super easy comparison section to do because these are all jellies and I can match things up with color to the best of my ability, but they're still not gonna have the exact same look if the polish that I'm comparing it to is a cream finish, which is the case in a lot of these. So this is kind of like color comparisons, but I'll just let you know as we go on that the finish and the final look is gonna be a little bit different. So even if a color is close, it may not necessarily be an actual dupe, if that makes sense. So starting out with with strawberry boba. This is a little bit different because this polish is so sheer and jelly and squishy and you are getting a little bit, even after three coats, you're getting a little bit of this white, kind of off-white swatch wheel peeking through underneath. So it's gonna look a little bit different on these than it would on the nail. I don't think it's gonna change the comparisons much, but it's just something to note that for most of these, it is looking a little bit different because of the color from underneath on the swatch wheel. So this first one here is Mrs. Potts. This is also a squishy jelly polish, but this is much more neutral, almost a little bit yellow. This is a birthday brat. This 
This is a much darker, more mauve shade, and this is a solid cream polish, so it's not gonna have that squishy, transparent look to it. And then this one is Easy Bake. This is much more purple and also is a solid cream polish, so again, it doesn't have that squishy, transparent look. This is Love A Lot. Oh, what are we doing? What's happening here? Okay, this is Love A Lot Bare. This is also a cream polish, so it doesn't have the squishy look. This is much more bright, bright pink. This one is Frenchy. This is another brighter blue-based pink, also a cream. And then this one is It's the Little Things. This is a jelly polish, so this does have that squishy transparent look to it, but this one was a much darker pink, and it was, I think, more opaque in general anyway. So it will still have, like, the squishy look in three coats, but it will also, like, cover the nail line in three coats, where Strawberry Boba just doesn't, which is fine. That's the look. I'm just saying that you're not gonna have the same amount of coverage, even though they both do have that, like, squishiness to them. So for Matcha Tea, the first one that I have here is Miss Kensington. This is a kale polish, so pre-lights lacquer. This is a kind of like deeper, minty, sagey kind of green. This one is Melancholy. This is also a squishy jelly, but it's much more of a yellowy green and less of that like milky, I guess matcha. I mean, it is like matcha green color. This one is 52 Chevy. This is a cream polish and it's a much lighter, paler green. So this is Tranquila E Tropical. This is a much darker green and again, more of like a solid cream shade. This is Pisces. This is very blue in comparison. And then this one is Wish Bear, which is also very blue in comparison. For Lavender Latte, this is Cancer. This is from an astrological sign collection. So if you're like me and your brain doesn't immediately go to astrological signs when you see that a polish is named Cancer, that's what that is. Cause I knew that. I knew that that was that collection. And when I flipped over the bottle to get the name, I went, <gasps> and then remembered, so just putting that out there. So this is Cancer. This is darker and more of like a, not really periwinkle, but it's a much cooler purple shade. This one is Jukebox Baby. This is also a cooler purple. This one is Dear Diary. This is a much warmer shade of purple. And again, none of these have that squishiness to them. And then this is Grumpy Bear, which is also like almost a more periwinkle shade. And for Butterfly Milk, this is Wish Bear. This is a much more of a minty blue and less of this kind of like periwinkle squishiness going on here. This is Easy As Pie. Color wise, I feel like this is pretty close, but again, totally different finish. Easy As Pie is a little bit darker and a little bit more saturated, but you've also got a lot of this swatch wheel coming through this squishy blue here, but it's a cream polish, so you really can't compare there. This is Bedtime Bear. This is much more of an aqua blue. This one is St. Clair. This is much darker, kind of along the same lines, but darker and a very solid cream shade. And then this is Cancer again. This actually, I forgot to mention, has like a really subtle shimmer to it, but it didn't really come out on the nail much. This is also close. It's a little bit more purple, but again, it's more of a solid cream shade where this is going to have that sheer milky squishiness to it on the nail. So it's hard to actually compare when the finish is so different. So I think Lavender Latte is going to be my favorite here. I really wish that Matcha Tea had performed as well as Lavender Latte did because that would have been 100% sold on it, but life is not fair and didn't work out that way. Also honorable mention to Butterfly Milk, but I did go with Lavender Latte because I feel like performance-wise that was the best out of the collection. But I think on a different day, I might have picked the blue over the purple. So that is the Light Slacker What's the Tea collection. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the Light Slacker website down below. I also have my coupon slash affiliate code with Light Slacker, which will be on the screen and in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.